Alright, so you started your website and now you want to sell a product in your website. So how do you do that? How do you create your first products and start selling inside? It is very, very simple. All you have to do is if, if your template doesn't have store yet, just click on the button store up top next to the builder. Now this is the store section. There you can see the dashboard, the orders, products, you can create discounts, different settings, layouts and payment processors that you can integrate. So. First of all, let's create our first product. By clicking on the products, you will see the products that you already have in the template. If you want to create a new one, simply click on the add product button. Now, you have the option to create a physical product, a digital one, which is a downloadable product. Or you can sell the service or a membership. A membership is if you want to give access to a specific content, like uh, some videos, tutorials, etc., or a recurring payment. So you can do that with this. For the sake of the example, let's create a physical product. Now, all we have to do is add some name to it. Let's say physical, because it's a physical product just for the sake of the example. Then it is this description. You can add any type of text that you want, or even widgets if you want to add something more to the description. Set up a price, let's say $10. You can have a sale, stock, availability, etc. So you can play around and see the different uh, options that you have here. To start our first product, you also have to select a category. You can create a category by clicking on the plus icon. But for the sake of the example, we'll use the already created one and click on confirm. You can also create variations, but again, you can play around and see how these things works. It's really, really simple. And we have them in more details in our other videos. If you click on the image, you can add, of course, an image as well. And that's it. We can create our first product. Click on save and it is created. You can now start uh, selling these products that you've created. You can also, in order to start selling, you also have to connect a payment processor of some sort. By going on settings, uh, first of all, for the shipping a specific physical product, obviously you have to have a shipping rule. So you can start with creating a shipping rule for what amount of payments you want to also charge when a product is being purchased. So you can build your rule here and you can adjust different things such as uh, from what range, how much you want to charge. And in order for the payments for the whole system to work, you have to connect one of the payment processors. It is really simple and it really depends on what kind of a payment uh, options you want to have. But uh, for the example, we'll be using the bank transfer because it is an offline payment method and it doesn't include any integrations. It doesn't require. Okay, so we've created our product and we set up our tax for shipping and um, our payment processor. So how do you actually start selling this product? First of all, you can add a widget here, for example, anywhere on your page. By clicking on the plus icon, you can select the store product and just drag it anywhere that you want to display the products. Let's say here. Now, by default, it will show the latest products. And in our case, we have uh, three products in our store, so it will display the three products. And as you can see, they're added into our page. Now, it doesn't have any buttons here, but you also have this option. So you can click on this check and it will actually show the add to cart option. But when we have add to cart, that requires to have a cart and we currently don't have such. And it's usually in the, in the header. So by clicking on the plus icon, you can actually add the cart. And that's it. Let's just change the color to white. And this is it. This is how you add a cart, adding your store products and creating them. So by previewing, you see that we have the cart on top and you also have the products that we want to sell. Now, what if you want to buy the product? Simply click on add to cart or you can even go inside the product and see their detailed page such as this. So if you click on add to cart, you see that it will be added to the cart. You have the option for a quick checkout or you have the cart here that you can click and go to your shopping cart. You can obviously continue to check out and continue with the payment. It's really simple and straightforward. So this is how simple it is to set up your cart, your products into your page and to create your first product with shipping and payment processing. Also, what else you can do? You can also um, 
have it so that you can sell a specific product like this for example if you have create a specific section that you want to highlight a specific product you can just link the button to a product that you want to sell so when you click on the link of any link button or text whatever it is you can actually link to that product so just from here you select store and from the products you select the product that you want to buy let's say the yoga for advanced and just click on save you also have the option to add to cart or buy it now so if you click on buy now it will just automatically when you click on the button it will go to the checkout so let's select it click on save and let's preview so now if we go here and we click on this button that we have added the advanced yoga course it will go directly to the checkout and you can buy this product and as we already had this in the cart you can just delete it and just like that you've added a product to a button and you can buy it right away this is how simplistic we've made the whole system to work also if you want to show all the products into the store main front um, page you can also include it into your into your header uh, for example in the menu in the menu you can click on edit menu and inside you can add a new menu item just click on store show all the products and click on select that's about it when you click on save changes and when you preview your site you see that when you click on the store it will show the, the storefront with all the products that you have with a filter on the site if that's the layout that you've selected in the store and with the different products and the different uh, you know setup that you have for them so this is it this is how simple it is obviously there is a lot more modifications and we have a whole section about the store the different layout the orders uh, the discount codes etc etc but these are the basics on how to create your first product and how to start selling it into your website in the next video we will see how you can actually sell a product inside a sales funnel an amazing way to increase your conversions when you're doing any type of campaign so stay tuned for the next video.